the title of this paper is Evaluation of the Change in the Kandai and Manic Evolution in Crossword Vision because of Dr. Bellamy and Brown. Good afternoon, Sri Lanka. Good afternoon, Madam Chair. I am Dr. Ethi Abraham. I am getting a reminder from the Orthodontist at Sri Lanka Medical College, Austin. This is in the Soviet state of Karnataka. Austin is blessed with its amazing ancient monument, beautiful stone star temple. A submerged British era church. It emerges only during summer. Pichoria's place, beautiful weather, known for it, coffee estates. That's what my place is about. Today, I'm standing in front of you to share my thoughts and my observation about the change in the container and mandibular position in cases with class 2 division 2 malacclusion. So, I have a small story behind me taking up this study. I had an interesting observation. In cases with class 2 division 2 malocclusion, after leveling and aligning, I have observed that the molar relationship which was an entorn or a proper class 1, class 2, has shifted to a fulcus class 1 or a near class 1 in cases after leveling and aligning. I was amused by this kind of change. So I thought I had a reflection regarding the same, and way back in 1972, Timmons has made such kind of an observation in class division 1 manacles and he called it uh, and he called it an induced change and when I had the initial research, induced change means move by influence You know about class division 2 manacles and we are very familiar with the, the features, the classical features, the drop line upper anterior, these by class 2 model, class 2 model relations to class 2 canine relations we are aware of it, not going in detail about it. The treatment protocol is then we follow level element maxillary anterior with C for the proclamation of the maxillary, then we convert it to class 2 division of malocclusion, C for the next level aspect, C for the proclamation of the overjet, extract the first three or last the trash so that the overjet is reduced, so that the next level anterior is reduced. And further, if there is a deep bite, either exclude the posteriors or improve the anterior depending upon the face side. And finally, if the uh, class 2 molar relationship, extract the second premolar and then protract with the class 2 last, protract the, uh, the premolar to get into a class 1 molar relationship. That's what we generally we do. And in some cases, if people don't like to apply the upper anterior, generally there are objections for profiling the maximum anterior. We go for the second order call, straight away go for the extraction of the first three molars, secondly retract the canines into the extraction screen, and then use the utility arch and improve the maximum anterior and align them. That's the protocol that we follow. In either way, we have a problem if there is an inclusion, if there is a, uh, an authority on the mandible, or there is an induced change. We already extracted the premolars, maxillary premolars, first premolars we extracted, the mandibular premolars we have extracted, thinking that we need to retract the upper antiques and retract the, the molars. But there is a change in the mandible, the mandibular has come forward, there is an induced change, friends, we are in trouble. That's why I have taken up this study to see what happens in class 2 division to malocclusion when we level a line or when we correct the, uh, the locking. To be frank with, I won't call it as a well-structured, well-planned and amazing study. I had a concept and I just wanted to check out with my concept. How does it go? And I took cases with class of relation to malocclusion. The age range was between 12 to 25 years. Patients with the top line actually anterior. A deep with a deep uh, more than 50, uh, 50 percent as a methodology included. I, I could take initially only 9 cases and uh, class of division to malocclusion, pre-treating cephalograms were taken and we went for uh, pre-additional drive of 4 to 2 MPTI prescription. We, we banded and wanted that. We finished the leveling and aligning, then we took the post aligning the uh, radial graph and finally the pre-treatment and pre-treatment cephalograms were traced, analyzed and computed. We took a few measurements, a simple few measurements to analyze the coronal change as well as the, the change in the mandibular position. The first 
the first subject was to know the change in the quantile position in an anthropocentric dimension. An HS plane was drawn, a perpendicular HS plane passing through the cella uh, was drawn, and the anthropocentric uh, distance between the cella point and the HS perpendicular was measured. This was done, uh, the, the pre and the post measurements were compared. The second was to know the position of the quantile in the vertical dimension. The first one was the anthropocene dimension, second one is the vertical dimension. Again, an FS frame was drawn, a parallel to the FS frame was drawn passing through the, the continuum point. And the distance between the, the, the two was measured. The same, the pre as well as the post alignment uh, measurements were taken. That is, you know, the, the, the weather content has visited down or superior. The third one was the sandy angle, we know all, we all know about the sandy angle. Nation cell on the continuum on um, uh, the point was taken and this angle value was measured. If the last angle angle that means the content is posteriorly placed. And again the pre and the post alignment uh, measurements were taken. The amount of the vertical rotation, you see the vertical rotation. I opted for the, the occlusion plane, the occlusion plane was drawn and the pre uh, the pre-water bounding and post alignment the phenomenon was superimposed and the, 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 the occlusal planes were drawn and the hand was measured. So this is a variety of sample test was done and the add some interesting results. The quantile moved around 1.6 millimeters in the anterior dimension. We had a standard deviation of 0.7, adding that roughly moved 2 to 2.5 millimeters of anterior movement of the quantile was observed. Coming to the vertical movement, the quantile has descended down by 1.7 millimeter, adding the uh, 1 millimeter of standard deviation of 2.5 to 2.7 millimeters of uh, inferior descent of the quantile was seen. When there was an amount of rotation, it's about 1.2 degrees of mandibular rotation. The mandibular rotated in a, in a, a clockwise, uh, in a counter clockwise rotation of the mandible was observed. And what surprised me was there was hardly any change in the side line. Usually, the side line should I change, seeing the movement of the contact, seeing the movement of the, the, the mandibular rotation, this should have changed, but a statistically significant change I could not find, maybe because the, the number of the samples were less. And I really could not connect with what was in the quantile mode, should I have known, but I could not find it. Coming to the discussion, we know about class solution to, to case cases. It has its own challenges. We have severe deep by whether to include the maxillary anterior or exclude the posterior. Posterior. We have a doubt that the retrocalian anterior will need effective locking mechanism uh, to talk the maxillary anterior. Then again, a normal path of closure. You, you know the maxillary threads are retrocaline and you have the mandible uh, going swinging forward and coming back. And the, the, the path of closure is also uh, compromised. And again, locking of the mandible, that's what I'm talking about. And finally, adding to the history is the induced change. That's what I'm talking about the swinging of the mandible and the anterior uh, and the anterior direction. My present study. We have clinically, I had clinically significant changes, even though the, the, the sample size was less, it was, do not say it's a massive change, but the giant the contact moved around 2 millimeters. When in in orthodontics, we, we deal with millimeters, the maximum body move is 7 millimeters. So 2 millimeters of contact movement is something which for the small sample size which I take vertical change again and there is an auto rotation of the, the mandible. So why? Analyzing what is the reason for this kind of a change? Why is this in class two cases, in class two division two cases? Why does the the uh, the, the matter is swing forward? A simple example, a simple explanation. If you go by even e, there could be a confusion whether the, whether actually because if the appliance is on, whether the movement what you saw is it is it because of the in some amount of tooth movement or it is actually because the matter has gone forward? But the, the movement, the change has occurred in a short period, 4 to 8 weeks of time, and such kind of a smooth movement is not possible in such a short period. So it has to be the movement of the mandible, and what will happen, happen is 
that is the locking of the maximum AIT here. Uh, the mantle is pushed behind, and the locking is over. The mantle will uh, free the spring forward, and the muscles will have to be the muscles of mastication, which are uh, because of the uh, alternate path of closure, they are already stressed, and they to achieve the muscle balance, if the push it pulled the mantle away, it, it swung the mantle in the forward direction. I have a few suggestions to say. These are two wonderful things. You can, you, if, you, if the patient's face you have a horizontal skeletal factor, don't hesitate to use the maxillary anterior bite plate. It's a wonderful thing. It helps to open the bite, it improves the posterior, and it will really relieve the, uh, relieve the flu. It will allow the man to swing forward. If you are worried about the patient is vertical, having a vertical skeletal factor, you are worried about the face side, then you can use the heart skin with a flat occlusal structure, the knee will allow you to take the man forward. So these are the two things which you can consider in your, in your regular practice when you are uh, when you are really worried about the locking of the man when you are suspecting locking of the man please we can use any of these depending upon the choice, depending upon the, on the growth factor. Uh, I know the limitations of the study. I don't. I I said it's a it's a concept which I tried out, and the sample size was too small. Parameters seen on the north north side is the one that created. I realized that so many other better parameters could have been taken. And today, I have I have taken an, another study and the 30 patients, and a lot of change is that, and we have increased the the, uh, uh, the the parameters also. I have changed. And the study is on almost 20 cases. And we have the initial reports have been taken. Another six or seven months, uh, once the IIM is over, we will have finish up the set. To conclude, the same what I told, class two malocclusion, especially class two division of malocclusion, you have to ex you have to expect there will be posterior motioning of the mandible, and hence you, it, it is because of mechanical locking, because the, the masticated muscles are held behind. And you have to expect some of the some of the uh, auto rotation. And before going for the treatment, final treatment plan, you expect the auto rotation the moment of the battle and, and go for your after learning and learning, finally go for your uh, treatment mechanics. And my career point is again, friends, you have to give attention to removal of the occlusion in the period. The occlusion in the period can be different from a class two division, class two cases. Especially class of division two cases, it, it, this will be there. So, proclaim level alignment, allow the mandible, don't hurry up for your, for your extraction. You, once you level align, you can use either thing either proclaim the mandible anterior or use the utility arch, level align, freedom is yours. But once the crucial interference has taken, then you go finally go for the, uh, uh, your extraction pattern. And this goes magic, you really incorporate. By planes or your planes along in your, your treatment plan, it really helps you a lot. And that's all from me, and that's my, that's my department, and that's from uh, all of us. And when I really brought, thank you at that point of time, when I made this line, I just wanted for formality, but after being here for a few days, I really mean it, and I mean it from deep, from, from, uh, deep of my heart. Thank you.
go for it. But we are mainly talking about in this D1 and D2, even dimension spectrum of D1, he has to the transcription of the locking to the anti-linear locking to the Even in D1, we don't see the replication. The D are really proclaimed, but it's because of the D5. Because of the D5, there's the locking. We open the mind immediately, you see the spectrum. That's what people have done way back. But I just observed in the class of division 2. That time we have the question, okay, it could be there. I feel and what we are doing about definitely when we take up a case, we always think about the uh, the uh, in the land and itself. So it is considered that we have to go to the big not a shit not. I read that we can see it as a second and talk about the situation.